Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So did you feel betrayed when Zambia voted out the PF? despite this massive work? No, initially, uh, I felt betrayed. I felt this is a lot of uh, ungrateful people. <laughs> but when I settled down, I realized that these things have also got the hand of God in them. Yeah. Uh, you know, where God is, sometimes he wants things to reveal themselves and his might to prevail. Because he, up to now, uh, many people say we didn't vote for him, eh? We didn't vote for him. They blame each other. So uh, I can tell you, without mentioning names, that some senior officials in the Electoral Commission of Zambia came to me and said, how did we lose this election? Because we thought we were winning and you were computing and everything. And, but suddenly we've lost. I said, I don't know. Mm. Up to now, I don't know how we lost. But then there was loss of lives also. Yeah. Uh, Jackson Kungo, may so rest in peace our dear brothers who were killed in Kanyama, on the same day of voting, apart from those who are being butchered elsewhere and so on, by UPND. Uh, that, the, that day of excellence when the, the country and the world learned of the death of uh, Mr. Jackson Kungo, your member of Central Committee for Northwestern Province, some called that you should cancel the election. I don't know if it reached you, but what were your feelings? Yeah, it, it, it did reach me. It, it reached me. A good number of people said, let's cancel the elections. But on reflection, I said we might even end up spilling more blood. Yeah? And the, I said, let's take it, let's allow it, let's allow the process, and so on. There was a strong voice that let's cancel elections. Mm -hmm. But canceling elections would have just meant more spilling of blood. Political tensions so, yes, too yes. high. Way so too I high. just said, no, let's, let's go through the whole process, and so on. I went through the whole process. And you'll be interested to know that even when it came to petitioning, we were ready to petition for the, 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 the outcome of the election. But I reflected because the tension was still there. And the 14-day window in which the petitions are held, I record what happened earlier. In 2016. I, yeah, in 2016, I realized it would just explode into uh, uh, some civil war. Because some people have not even... Uh, documented or realized that uh, there was a lot of blood in the uh, parts of uh, southern province targeted at uh, people who do not come, do not from, come from there. there. Mm. Yeah, and it took three, four, five days I had to suppress the news because it was deliberate, calculated ethnic cleansing. You, you speak Bemba, you speak Nyanja, you're the ones who voted for Lungu when they were being uh, silenced and tortured and property burnt and killed. Now, I did appeal at that point to the Chitimukulu, I appealed to the Zeni, I appealed to the Mwata, and I appealed to another chief. I said, please, please, this is happening, but can you tell your people to calm down mm -hmm. and please visit this side and talk to your uh, colleagues so that this can stop. I also did appeal to then Bishop Transform Pundu. Mm. I said, talk to uh, Akomba, Dr. Akomba, the leader of the SDA church, yes. to stop this killing, which is on ethnic lines. Otherwise, it will destroy us. This so, is in 2021. No, this was earlier. Oh, the earlier one. The earlier one, 2016. Yes, 2016, yes. Mm. So he gave me the experience in 2021 to say, not no, to petition the not, not to petition the results, because this would do result. Because in that 16 days, this is 14 days of petitioning, there would be tension mm -hmm. and people would begin killing each other on those lines. So I said, no, 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 no. I will not petition. 
Mm. And that's how mm. some mm. people, of course, say, no, you, you petition. I said, no, 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 let's not petition. Let's just hand over power. Mm. And we handed over power. And the, in handing over the power, I was very sure that I was doing the right thing. And up to now, I still believe I was doing the right thing. Because Zambians have seen for themselves who means well for them, mm -hmm. who means well for the Zambian people, both in terms of um, providing good governance, in terms of providing uh, protection, in terms of uh, obedience to rule of law, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, checks and balances. And of course, the, I keep saying that the law, which is enforced now, and the rules which are in place now, are the same ro laws and rules which uh, were in place. Mm. But he, should we depend on the fact that I was well brought up, that's why I feel there was law and order? No, it shouldn't be like that. People yeah. should just behave properly and the law should be able to control. And that's why people are saying, let's get back. You get into stage house so that we tighten the screws so that this doesn't happen again, where mm. judges are kicked out of employment like domestic workers and, mm. and, and, and so on. So people are clamoring for my return for obviously what we may call selfish reason in the sense that they want to correct certain mistakes which they can't call correct if we get a novice in there again. You, you've said something fundamental about the dismissal of the judges, Your Excellency. That hasn't gone very well. The process itself looks murky, um, and the dismissal of these three judges, which has culminated to seven judicial officers in a period of three years. Well, did you fire any judge at your time, during your time? No, I... I can't recall firing, but efforts were there. I, I, I recall some complaints coming through, uh, but through the due process, they never much saw fruition. But I can say that uh, it's all because of checks and balances. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and I think that uh, the tenure of security was uh, more during my time uh, than now because uh, we were reflective Mm. We were also listening to the courts. If the court says, say this, we would say it, and so on. Mm. If the court says, look, allow this process to take place so that you fulfill the rule of law, we would follow that. Mm. But now what is happening is that everything goes. And the recommendation is a recommendation anyway. Mm. Uh, finally, it's you to decide. So I think that uh, the impunity uh, has been escalated by the fact that uh, some laws are loose, they need to be tightened so that from the way to go, you can't have what is happening now happen. Yeah. Mm. Where the security of tenure for judges is guaranteed. Your Excellency, last year at this time, you, at the memorial of President Michael Sutter's ninth memorial service, you announced your return to politics and your return to active politics. And it came at great sacrifice because you had to give up your pensions and benefits. Why were you motivated to make that fundamental decision? See, uh, a year ago today, uh, we had the PF rattled. Uh, I think a year ago, last year, Independence Day, 24th yes, to be specific, uh, PF was shaken, and up to now it hasn't recovered because of uh, manipulation. And manipulation is, to put it simple, a mm -hmm. uh, from the head of state and his ruling party. It's documented. Uh, he, 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 he has uh, gone into PF, uh, caused the, the dissension, problems for us, and up to now we haven't found our feet properly. And not only in PF, but any other promising political party which he envisaged could give him a good run for his money as the ruling party, he ventured in. Look at Kalaba's political party and history. Citizen First is a product of I don't know how many efforts before. Yeah. And, the, and I know that uh, even NDC... The, the is under one, attack. Yeah. You know, so that compelled me to come back and say, look, this is not good enough. We need larger space for the opposition. It's not only that, but... Uh, the indiscriminate harassment and the arrests of our leaders to weaken them, to scare them, to intimidate them from forming political parties and the, you know, organizing themselves for the alternative government forced me to come through. And, the, and, the, and the I came uh, through 
because PF was dying, being killed, and, and I was watching. You know, I was a product of PF. I became president because of PF, and I was going to look very, very guilty uh, in, in, in the eyes of Mr. Sata and all those who sacrificed and sponsored PF. I became president because of PF, and then I should watch PF die whilst I enjoy benefits from HH. Yeah. No, it was not the right thing to do. So I said, no, 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 this can't be. So I came back to reorganize PF, and I'm still going to make sure that PF survives. Because I owe a lot to PF. And, and, and I guess you owe Mr. Sata, uh, you know, that legacy that the Patriot Front must survive. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I promised when I took over, I promised that his burial, that will not let his vision die, will not let Patriot Front die and will not let patriotic plant be sold to the highest bidder. That I said. Mm -hmm. And if people came with money trying to buy leadership and the party along the way, and, and, and it failed, and it will fail even this time. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.